Hi, I'm Chinmay Manjunath. I'm an engineer here at Cohesity. Today, I'll be walking through Cohesity's offering for physical server protection. Here you can see the Cohesity cluster with four nodes. And on this side, you can see the actual physical server. And I'd like to highlight a couple of modules in the server. One is the Cohesity agent software. The other is the Cohesity's CBT driver, the change block tracking driver, which essentially tracks the change blocks of the volumes across snapshots, enabling incremental backups of the volumes. And lastly, the VSS, Microsoft VSS, so which gives an infrastructure to take application considered snapshot of the volumes itself. With that, I'd like to jump into explaining how the backup lifecycle works. When the backup job run kicks in upon a schedule, the Coicity node establishes contact with the agent. And the agent will instruct the VSS to take a snapshot. Once the snapshot is taken, the data will now be moved across to the Coicity cluster. So since this is a first backup, the CBT driver is not involved. So we know it's a full backup, so we'll back up the entire volumes. So the data is moved in parallel streams. All the nodes will be engaged in pulling the data. So the data that is backed up will be stored in Cohesity view. Cohesity view is Cohesity's construct to representing data stores. You can look out. Uh, you can check out other videos and other literature to look to dig deeper into the views. So there are two volumes here, C drive and D drive, and each volume will get a file. So as you can see, the data is stored in VHDX files. So the VHDX files format is Microsoft standard for representing virtual hard disks. So using that enables a lot of P2B workflows and recovery workflows because VHDX files can be directly attached as volumes on Windows servers. So once all the data is, that is pulled is stored onto VHDX, we'll mark the backup as complete, release the snapshots that were taken, and then notify the VSS indicating that the backup is complete. Now let's take a look at the incremental backup flow. With the incremental backup, the first thing that the Cohesity cluster will do is to clone the previous directory, back, the files from the previous backup. Once this is done, what this, these two represent right now is exact copy of the previous backup. Now, Cohesity cluster will instruct the Cohesity agent to go through the backup process so we, as part of which, the Cosity agent will talk to the VSS snapshot service and trigger a snapshot of the volumes. And the agent will now c communicate with the CBT driver and fetches the bitmap. The bitmap represents all the change blocks from the previous snapshot. The bitmap is transported back to the Cosity cluster. Cosity cluster will again pull data from parallel, across par pull data across parallel streams from the Cosity agent and will modify these two files to only write the delta. So once all the delta blocks are returned to the files, the backup will be marked as successful on this side, and it will instruct the Cohesity agent to do the same with the VSS, and Cohesity agent will let, let the VSS know that the, to release the snapshot, as well as notify the, all the writers indicating that the backup is successful. So I'd like to conclude by highlighting a couple of points. One is that Coercity's CBT driver on the physical servers, which enables incremental backup of the volumes. And two is that ability for Coercity to pull data across parallel streams, thereby uh, improving the backup time. And three, Coercity stores the files in VHDX formats, which enables a lot of P2B workflows and directly attaching the backed up data onto the server directly. And lastly, the instant cloning is possible because of course it is Snapdrag technology and all the data, all the backup job runs essentially is available for instant access at any point of time.
Thank you.